Yeah, good morning, friends. Uh, I am Dr. Rasik Shah, pediatric surgeon, uh, practicing in Hinduja Hospital with special interest in laparoscopy surgeries and uh, other general pediatric surgeries. Today we are going to discuss one of the very common topic which is undescended testis. It is very common in children and we are going to touch the basics of understanding of the undescended testis. As you, most of you will be aware that testis is the male gonad and its primary function is to produce sperms and androgens, basically testosterone. It has two main attachments which includes vas deferens via epidymis, which ultimately the vas deferens opens into the urinary tract in the posterior urethra and the sperms are delivered over there or via the vas deferens. The second important attachment is the testicular vessels. These are important when we come to the management of the undescended testes. <clears throat> now the testes uh, needs a temperature which is lower than the core body temperature because at the lower temperature it works better. And that is the reason why the testes are located outside the body in the scrotum. And hence if the testes is higher up, probably it will not work well and that is the reason why we need to bring it down. We will discuss that further in later slides. Now embryonically around fourth week of gestation antenatally the gonad rudiments are present adjacent to the developing kidney. And from there testis follows the path of descent from the lower pole of the kidney via the retroperitoneum towards the internal ring, inguinal canal and scrotum. In most cases that is 97% of the full term and 70% of the preterm, both testes are descended normally by birth. In most cases usually only one testis fails to descend and in less than 10% of the patients it will be both sides. Now when we say undescended or my descended testicle, it comprises of the four different entities that is undescended testis, ectopic testis, retractile testis and ascending testis. Now we will discuss one after another what are the differences and what needs to be done. Undescended testis means it is the arrest of descent along its normal path of descent and then it is termed as undescended testicle. And as we discussed earlier, it can be high abdominal, that is what we call near the kidney or away from the groin by 3 centimeters, or low abdominal, which is near the groin or the internal ring. Then we have emergent testis, which is moving in and out of the abdomen. Then we have inguinal testis, where the testis comes to the inguinal region, but not in the scrotum. And sometimes it can be still in the scrotum, but not at the base of the scrotum, but high scrotum. So all these are the varieties of undescended testis. The second is ectopic testis. Ectopic meaning the testicle has moved away from its path, normal path of the descent. And then basically what happens, what, once the testis emerges out of the external ring, instead of coming to the scrotum, it goes to the other locations which includes superficial inguinal pouch, pubic, area, perineal area and femoral area. So ectopic test is the test is which has moved away from its path of the descent. Clinically we don't go into all this different classification but what we divide it into palpable undescended test is or non-palpable undescended test is because this is this will help us in the management of the patient. In non-palpable it can be any one of these three variety abdominal, means meaning it is in abdomen, second it is atrophied, atrophied means it is small in size and third entity is absent testicle. Now in palpable UDT what is the management? Basically it needs an open or chiopexy. Some of the this testes will descend on its own in first two to three months of the life postnatally into the scrotum 
and hence we don't operate in first two three months so we give time up to the six months for the testis to descend on its own and if it is not descended by six months then one should go ahead and operate by delaying the surgery further we are not helping the child but that higher temperature in abdomen and chronic trauma to the testicle the function may get affected and that is the reason why one should operate at the age of six months this is in case of palpable UDT now if you see these are all different varieties of palpable UDT now the testis should have descended into scrotum along this path but instead of that it has gone into the perineal area and this is the variety of ectopic testicle now if you see the right upper hand figure photograph then the testis is coming up to the scrotum but as soon as you leave it goes back into the inguinal region so this is the type of undescended testis if you see the left lower figure there are both the testis which are in the inguinal region and these are the type of undescended testis and here again you can see the testis is coming into the perineal area so it is ectopic testis so these are all varieties of palpable undescended testis now one more variety of palpable mild descended testis is retractile testis in this the testis is at rest is located in the scrotum but with any stimulant, stimulus it ascends in the inguinal area now this patient usually don't need any treatment unless in most of the time if you see the testis is located at high level or if it remains beyond the life of six years then some of this patient may need to be operated now the fourth variety of palpable undescended testicle is ascending testicle where at birth the testis is located in the scrotum however with the growth of the child the testis fails to remain in the scrotum and ascends in the groin now this patient needs to be operated to bring the testicle in the scrotum many of these patients have associated patent processes vaginalis or possibility of development of the hernia now the second variety clinically we said was the non palpable undescended testis now in the management of these patients as we discussed earlier there are three types abdominal atrophied or absent testicle and this can be differentiated only by doing laparoscopy and we advocate the surgery by laparoscopy at around six months now depending upon the findings on laparoscopy the further management is carried out now these are the varieties of non palpable undescended testes you can see the right testicle is normal left is not seen the same thing the upper right photograph you don't see anything testicle on the left side here the lower photograph you don't see the testicle on the right side now all these are the different varieties of non palpable undescended testes now what is done in this patient is laparoscopy the ideal age is around six months now a lot of patients will come to us parents and will ask us whether we can locate the testes by any imaging studies we don't advocate because they are not 100% specific or sensitive and basically because of that it creates a lot of confusion in the mind of the parents and that in addition it doesn't change the plan of management now what is the confusion because many times the testicle which is not seen on imaging studies we find them on on laparoscopy so it it you know if the testis is not seen on sonography or CT a lot of patients will ask us then why you don't want to operate so it creates a confusion at the same time sometimes it is seen and we don't find so because of this reason it is not advocated because it doesn't change the plan of management now what we find on laparoscopy usually the testis is located near the internal ring and it can be brought down in one operation and this is the commonest finding in 65 to 70 percent of the patients the second finding is the testis is located at higher level and then it will come down in two operations the chances of that is around 8 to 10 percent of non palpable undescended testis in 15 to 20 percent of the patients there is a small the testis is small in size and it needs to be removed but important thing is 
the opposite side should be fixed. Now the fourth variety or fourth finding is that the testis is absent or venous. Again in this patient we don't need to do anything except the fixation of the opposite side to prevent his loss due to torsion in the later life. Now what is laparoscopy? Many people have that question. The laparoscopy is we take a small incision near the belly button and put the trocar through that and through the trocar the telescope is inserted and we visualize the inside of the abdomen and then we depending upon the findings one or two more trocars are inserted to carry out the rest of the operation as discussed earlier. Now we will see some of the photographs what we see on laparoscopy. You can see this is the testicle which is near the internal ring and the distance is less than 2-3 centimeters so this testis can be brought down in one operation. Now if you see this the left lower uh, photograph you can see the testicle is here and the kidney is almost here. So such a high undescended testis will not come down in one operation they need two operations. You can see right upper photograph where this is the vas which is ending blindly and the testicular vessels which are ending blindly and these patients are basically vanishing testes. The testes has vanished because of the vascular insert in the, because of torsion antenatally and this patient needs a fixation of the opposite testicle. You can see here vas and vessels which are entering the internal ring. Now in these patients basically there is a small atrophic testicle in the inguinal or scrotal area which needs to be removed and the opposite side needs to be fixed. Preoperatively what are the preparation we need to do? We need to do CBC that is complete blood count and we need to keep the patient fasting before operation and usually we like to keep 4 hours for breast milk, 6 hours for the liquids and 8 hours for the solid food. Postoperatively, usually we keep fasting for 2 to 4 hours and we continue IV fluids for 6 to 8 hours depending upon the type of surgery, whether open or laparoscopy. The clear fluids are started after 4 to 6 hours and advanced to full liquids followed by soft diet. Oral, oral analgesics are prescribed for pain for 48 to 72 hours and local antibiotic ointment is prescribed after the dressing is removed or if it comes off from the scrotal area and the patient usually are discharged on the same day occasionally next day depending upon the type of the surgery the child needed and usually the patients are after five days for the dressing removal. Now what will happen if these patients are not operated? Basically the function of the testes will decrease as the time goes there is higher incidence of malignancy and if it occurs there is a late detection. 70% of this patient will have associated patent processes vaginalis. There is higher incidence of torsion. Now basically the patent processes vaginalis means that they have, uh, they, have they can develop the inguinal hernia. There is higher incidence of torsion. There is increased incidence of injury. Injury meaning when the testis is in the groin, they are more prone to the trauma. And psychological issue of obviously if the testis is not located in the scrotum, the child will develop the psychological issue beyond the age of 3-4 years once he starts understanding. Investigations as discussed earlier for unilateral undescended testis, we need CBC. In bilateral, we go ahead and usually do laparoscopy. However, some places they do HCG challenge test to know whether there is any testicular tissue present or not. Now, uh, if you are suspecting disorder of sexual differentiation, then all these other tests may be done, but today we will not be discussing about that. Now, word of caution because the cancer in undescended testes is higher incidence what I would advocate that all the patients should be educated for self-examination of the testes after orchiopexy. Now most of the time we do orchiopexy at the age of six months to two three years so these patients will not understand anything so this duty of education will lie with the parents that once the child is grown up 
then he should be told because the peak age of the tumor development is 15 to 45 years. So once they are in the age, you know, achieves the puberty, the parents should teach them self-examination of the testes or take to the doctor and advise for the self-examination. Now, uh, so that is important. Now, one of the another important thing is if we do orchiopexy early, the incidence of the development of the cancer has been decreased. Another common question after this kind of surgery by the parent is what will be happen with the fertility? Now, these patients, if the one test is, is functioning normally, they have the same chance like any other couple. If it is bilateral undescended testes, then more than 80% of the pair couple will have, uh, you know, they will uh, have the child. And normally, if, if it is unilateral undescended testes, as far as uh, sexual capabilities are concerned, they are all normal. If it is bilateral undescended testes, which is brought down, even then the androgenic function usually is normal. Very rarely they will need a uh, support of the hormones from outside. Uh, so this was the you know basics of the undescended testes, which is important for parents to know. Now, if you have any questions, I would be more than happy to take them. Uh, hello. Yeah. If you have any questions, please. Okay. Uh, one of the questions which has been asked by Kostub is what to do for eating. Now, usually itching uh, will occur, you know, very rarely after this kind of surgery. But I think first important thing, if there is a itching in that area, one needs to keep that area clean, dry. Uh, and uh, uh, if required, I mean, one need to see the doctor and we may need to apply some talcum powder, keep that area dry. And very rarely if there is a fungal infection which is overlying, you know, underlying cause of the itching, then apply some uh, antifungal ointment. Yeah, if you have any more questions, you are most welcome to ask. So this was a question of Dr. Mr. Rakesh. What is the changes of getting such problem, chances of getting such problems in kids as we discussed earlier in one of the slides that uh, uh, the incidence in a full term baby is about uh, 2 to 3 percent but by the time they are 6 months old it is less than 1 percent of the kids will have undescended testes. However, in the premature child uh, the incidence is quite high almost 30 percent at birth but by the time they are achieved the age of 6 months only 4 to 5 percent will have undescended testes. So overall, the incidence would be 1 percent of the children will need orchiopexy and that is very high. And that is the reason why we needed to understand about undescended testes. Now, Kausdube, that's the same question, what to do for eating? So as uh, I told earlier that we needed to keep that area dry. I think we needed to see the doctor to see if there is any underlying fungal infection and take care of that if it is there. So it is one of the common problem and we needed to understand about that. After surgery it is completely curable that was a question by Rakesh. And uh, Rakesh, basically see undescended testes, once we bring it to the scrotum, they are fine. Most of the kids will forget about that, that they have, you know, undescended testes. Now the success results of the surgery is almost in the range of 95% plus, I mean 98 to 100% in most of the series, where the normal size testicle is brought down into the scrotum and the chances of it growing normally are almost 95%, more than 95% for the palpable variety. For non-palpable undescended testes, if the testes is of normal size in the abdomen, 
the success rate is more than 90% after this kind of surgery, uh, after laparoscopy surgery. Earlier, the results were not very good with open surgery and laparoscopy has become a standard of care in non-palpable undescended testes. At the same time, I want you to know that in palpable undescended testes, today there is no role of doing laparoscopy, though some, some of the surgeons are advocating even in palpable variety, emergent variety, that the results of laparoscopy are better. Uh, any cream or antibiotic powder we recommend for uh, itching? I think any talcum powder, if it is basically if it is remaining wet because of the uh, sweat, then you need to keep that area dry. But if it doesn't respond, I think it is better to see the doctor and then depending upon whatever their advice get treated. You know, it is not a right uh, uh, idea to, you know, prescribe the ointment without seeing the patient. So basically, undescended test is, is one of the very common operation and one needs to manage it well and again, I will emphasize the age of surgery, it's around 6 months. Why I need to emphasize, maybe 25-30 years back, the ideal age at that time was told was puberty, means at the age of 15 years. 20 years back, people realized that by waiting for 15 years, we are harming the testicle. The electron microscopy showed some of the changes, you know, which occurs at that time. So the age was brought down to five years. But then the electron microscopy showed that the results, you know, the changes starts happening at two years. So then the age was dropped to two years. Then it was one year. And now we say that six months we wait just for the testicle to come down on its own. If it doesn't come down, then go ahead and fix it. So the age of surgery is very important and that, that, that is, uh, uh, and then the second important point for you to know is that if it is palpable, open surgery, non-palpable, laparoscopy surgery, no role of imaging studies and the results of surgery are good. Very rarely if they have associated hypospadias in bilateral undescended testes or unilateral undescended testes with proximal hypospadias, one should consider possibility of disorder of sexual differentiation and one should go ahead investigate and then plan the further treatment. So thank you all for uh, uh, participating in this interactive web seminar on understanding of undescended testes. Thank you. My OPD timings in Hinduja Hospital is Tuesday 1.30 to 3 and on Friday 12 to 1.30 and at Hinduja Hospital Khar the timings are Tuesdays and Fridays with the prior appointment. I have a lot of videos which have been uploaded on YouTube on undescended testes and the channel name is Rasiksha. All the, all the videos are basically for non-palpable undescended testes. So you, if you wish, you can log on and have a look. Once again, thank you all for the sale.